Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial video. Dusty here. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to lock your iPhone on one app. What this will allow you to do is to give a, a child or someone who you don't want to have access to other apps on your phone your device and they can only stay on the designated app until you type in the passcode and do a certain action on your device. So in order to do this, what you're going to want to do is open up settings. Once you've opened up settings on your iOS device, you're going to want to go down and tap on accessibility. It'll be down towards the middle of the page there. And then what you're going to want to do is scroll down until you see something that says guided access. It will probably say off right next to it, but if you tap on it here, you can see where the guided access is at the very top of the screen there. You want that to be over to the right and you want it to be checked on. So right here, it would be off. And then if I tap it again, it'll be turned on. Now, a couple of settings. Now, in order for someone to turn off guided access to get away from that single app that we're trying to keep them on, they'll need to type in a passcode. So you need to go to passcode settings and go ahead and set guided access passcode. Now you have to have a passcode in order for this to work and for you to set this up. So go ahead and set up a passcode, whatever you want it to be. It will be a six digit passcode. And then you can even set that up to be face ID if you want, but I prefer to go with the passcode. And then once you've set up your passcode settings, go to time limits. Now this allows you to set time limits for how long you want that child or that individual to have access to that app. And then when the time is up, a sound will go off and it'll even speak to them if you want it to by checking the speak option here and it'll let them know how many minutes they have left on the app. Uh, but again, I have all of that checked off. But if you want to do that, that is available to you. Now, the accessibility shortcut, this is the most important thing. Make sure this right here is checked on under accessibility shortcut. Now, in order for you to set this up and to get it to run on a single app, what you're going to want to do is navigate over to the app and you're going to want to triple click the side button, the power button, not the volume up or down button, but the power button. I'm showing you what that looks like now and I'm demonstrating that in video right now. I recorded a little short clip showing you exactly what I mean by that. And as you can see, guided access will come up. It'll say cancel, start, or options. You want to go ahead and hit the start option in the upper right hand of the screen in your passcode. So go ahead and type in whatever your passcode is. Verify that passcode once more. And then as you can see, there's nothing I can do to get off this app. I can't swipe up. I can't swipe down. I can't even put it to sleep. I can't do any of that. It says guided access is enabled. Triple click the side button to exit. And to turn this off, you just triple click the side button and you type in your passcode. And then once you've done that, you can see guided access options come available to you. This is a great tool if you have toddlers or kids that you want to uh, be able to watch YouTube kids, but you don't want them to be texting or Facebooking your mother-in-law bad words. Uh, that's kind of what I use it for. But it's up to you how you want to use the guided access feature. If you have any questions about this, please put those down in the comment section below. I or one of our community members will get to those as quickly as we possibly can. If this video helped you out, help me out by liking, sharing, and subscribing for more technology tutorials just like this. See you guys in the next video.